It is 524. We've taken a survey, and I think this is most people's favorite time of the year. And one of those things that people really enjoy is being able to see all the leaves change, the leaf peeping. I've seen it on my walk to school. A few leaves are starting to change already. Yeah, driving to physical therapy yesterday, some of the maple leaves up in Briargate, yep. they're changing. And, you know, I talked to Dr. Dan West yesterday. He's with the Colorado State Forest Service. Pretty, and he actually tells me that the wet mountains are already seeing some beautiful colors. And that's a little unusual. Usually down south, we don't see those changes yeah. until early October. I also asked him about the drought and the impacts on the drought this year versus last Last year, last year the drought was more prolific out west. This year it's mainly east, and he says because of that, it's going to be near the average time okay. that we see the leaves changing. Which is when? Which okay. is, yeah, so this guide right here, I'm going to move out of the way a little bit. When we look at the northern fifth of the state, we typically see the peak fall colors. So they're changing now, yes, but the peak is going to be around mid to late September. The farther south you go towards the popular I-70 corridor, usually the end of the month. And then as we look here in southern Colorado, usually late September to early October. And the farther south you go, the later, of course, oh, yeah. you'll see those changes. Now let's talk about some of our favorite places to check out. So many good oh, ones I want to ask you. Okay, now I have two. This is Highway 67 because it's easy to get to and, yep. you, and you can see so many beautiful colors, but Boreas Pass as well. And let's have you click on one of your favorites. Okay, let's see if we, uh, did you make magic here? I did. What? How beautiful is that? <laughs> the magic of television, How do I go folks. back? I think we just clicked the picture. Okay, I want to show one go. more. of. Yeah. There we go. And this one, oh, a popular one. So this one's popular. really close by. You take uh, Highway 24 to divide. Now, of course, if you do this on the weekend, it's going to be jam-packed. I know. So either go early or go on the weekdays Let's if possible. Yours. You know, one I haven't done, i got to say, 67 is one of my favorites. The Wilkerson Pass is good. I've never done Maroon Bells. What about Gwinnella? Let's, Let's click see on that. What it, I just want to see what they all look like. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's pretty. Oh, Let's do one more. Let's do uh, Independence Pass. I feel like that I'm in a here class right now. Independence Pass might be one of the prettiest drives I've ever taken. Yeah, I would say so. But it's so far. And I'm heading to Breck this weekend, by the way, so I'm going to take some pictures. And speaking of pictures, I'm going to show them next week. We want you, our viewers, to get involved. Yeah. And here's how you do it. We want to see your fall colors, right? So what you can do is you can email the First Alert 5 weather team, weather at KOAA.com. You can also find me, Alex, Lauren, or Casey on social media and share your pictures that way as well. Well, thank you.